Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your March mid um, monthly general read. Um, it's a general reading so it will not resonate with each and every Scorpio who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Excuse me, it's much appreciated. Thank you. Um, uh, let's get into it. So, we have love and relationship here, and then we have career and finance, and we have health and well being. So, for love and relationship, the overall energy is the moon. All right, so we know that the moon is about emotion, secrets, secrecy, hidden things, things working in, in, the, in the dark, um, things unseen, things unknown, um, emotional issues that then manifest as mental issues sometimes. Um, the moon uh, cycles cycles in our lives too okay all right so this is Scorpio how Scorpio feels the five of swords the queen of cups the will of fortune everybody's been getting the five of swords because it's, it's mercury retrograde things are cropping back up from the past cropping up from the past right coming back around interference um, resentment regret remorse uh, of course the heavy arguing because this is a, a long-standing issue in a dynamic in a union in an in institution institution of, of uh, something you've built up mentally a mental institution that you could be in or someone else could be in or something you've built up in your mind um negative uh mental uh thought patterns that we that we have it comes back the moon the cycles um in regards to maybe you scorpio this is your side um the queen of cups or the mother of your children or or someone or your mother um the moon does um, talk about mom issues and, and, and cycles the, uh, or, or feminine uh, influence um, the will of fortune there's some ending here the culmination of the ten uh, of the ten of cups the ten of swords the ten of wands the ten of pentacles we know that out of those two tens you know those are could be very good things and then the other two maybe not so good anyhow there there has been ending and now what will you do after that ending will you take to the new star the ace of cup the ace of sword the ace of pentacle the ace of uh, wands will you start over um either with or without you know uh, what happens in regards to the ending um It's some long-standing issues in regards to the Scorpio are, are, are coming back. And what Scorpio is doing the heavy argue and maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a, a fixed sign. It could be any sign. Um, could be another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio like yourself. Um, but And it could be in regards to emotional issues. How I feel about this. Okay? Uh, your partner is the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and two cards came out. The in the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. Um, three queens here three queens so everybody's focused on what it is they have in their hand she has a cup she has a sword 
she has the pentacle right um the kings would be already past doing the work or being focused on their element they, they sit in their element they, they, they're at the highest level of the element right the queens are focused on it um scorpio is focused on the cup their emotions their feeling um whomever you're dealing with uh scorpio uh gemini libra aquarius capricorn virgo taurus I really feel like this is the same person, right? This person is focused on truth and clarity with, in regards to what they have been building upon. They are very, or what they expect. They expect in a solid, stable offer to come in. They are concerned about stability, the pentacle, the the money, what governs them us all earthly um they have or are doing a lot of work in regards to try to cultivate more money or cultivate a new opportunity or uh what's the word protect fight off ward off what they have a oh, fight for some of some of them expect an offer of money this could be divorce something ended here or I'm moving out and I'm taking the kids so you need to give me and I'm going to fight for it um, with my word written word spoken word because I need to cultivate a level of stability um, that's where it's two people right two very different people who want the same thing and then there's also somebody holding back all right uh, career finance for the Scorpio nine of cups nice Make a wish, it could very well come true. You can get to the Ten of Cups because the Nines talk about separation or, or being without. So you feel like you're without that next cup, right? Whatever that may be for you. Um, that's why they say make a wish when this card comes around because um, you can get to that Ten, to the culmination of whatever you feel like you're without. So... Um, Career and finance, queen of earth, eight of earth, uh, nice, um, definitely worried about your money and focused on it, doing the work, money may be up and down just a bit, but it stabilizes, um, you may have some, may have married later in life, and now that's taking a toll on you, or, or you may marry later in life and travel with a partner, um, you're worried, you're concerned, and not worried, but more so concerned more concerned about um what governs us earthly and that's the pentacle that's money that's the system of this earth um and how to cultivate more of it doing the work and and uh sometimes doing the work and you ask yourself for what but the next step would be the nine of pentacle right um haven't done a lot of work uh, being stable and, and uh, there but not there being without that 10th pentacle right 10 of pentacles but this is good it looks like um, you're just really pounding away and the queens are concerned about their elements so you're concerned about the money so that's that's very good um, the spirit well may be you also you may be trying to ward off giving some money to anyhow uh health and well-being ten of fire patience health and well-being something ended as we see the burden is released the lies the deception 
the caring of whatever this may have been could even been family dynamic is over it is released now you, now you wait to make a better way or, or, or to make this situation better you know that's what the uh, temperance is about making a situation that used to be good used to be fitting now it's about being the alchemist and making it work now being being like the, the you know like a, a chemist you pour a little bit here you pour a little bit there try to get the right balance now you have to make it work in regards to some change some ending here uh, okay so it looks like you may get what you want make a wish it could very well come true for you so anyway um let's go ahead and close out with some angel answers thank you thank you thank you heavenly father for the true messages from my scorpio listen to your intuition nice it looks like you you are doing that um definitely concerned about how you feel so you've got your cup let go yeah pretty much let go stop fighting for this it it is going to be what it's going to be um whatever part you played in it just let go release work on that unlikely okay so something's unlikely to whatever you fill in the blank to happen to go a certain way to whatever unlikely so listen to your intuition let go unlikely if you feel like this reading resonated with you for you um go ahead and click that like button also you can request a five dollar yes or no answer um reading uh, that comes to you via email you can ask a question a yes or no question um is it unlikely that um i will win my divorce um should I uh, let go of my marriage or let go of this court case or whatever? Yes or no questions, right? Um, will I get that new job or will I get that promotion? Take advantage of that. The link is below. Um, or if you feel like you need something more in depth, go over to the website. The website is below. Also, you can book their book pay there. Um, Thank you, Scorpio, for tuning in. I wish and hope the best for you. Uh, stay in prayer. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care. Bye.